long hours after the deadly shooting. Do not cross police tape still surrounded the scene as state police gathered evidence where a man was shot and killed inside a car next to a basketball court. Troopers and medical responders rushing to this scene found 52-year-old Henry Raul Freeman shot several times. Sitting in the driver's seat of his blue Audi, we're told at least one shot was to the neck. One neighbor tells us they heard the sound of at least two gunshots shortly before 1.30 a.m. Another later saw police flashing lights but didn't realize what had happened. Freeman was declared dead at the scene less than 20 minutes after he was shot. Police, state police were out there and then I woke up this morning and found out it was my neighbor. The lot where the Audi was parked is just above the Library Street basketball court and right across the street from the apartment house where Freeman lived upstairs. Reaction from neighbor Linda Lenz. It's sad. I feel awful because he would always knock on my door to see if he has a package. The Pennsylvania State Police Troop B Major Case Team kept scouring the scene, gathering evidence for more than 10 hours. And the investigation of Freeman's killing is still active, with investigator interviews and checks of surveillance video. We're told there was at least one witness, an acquaintance of the victim. Neighbors say they believe Freeman lived here about six years. He was a nice guy, real nice guy. Uh, nice to me anyway. Um, yeah, I would see him out and he would knock. He knocked on my door a little bit ago, maybe um, three weeks ago, but I wasn't home. Her thoughts about this deadly shooting right across the street? It's not good. It's not good. Um, I wanted to get out of my lease. Um, I just couldn't afford to, but come no next November, that's a plan. Yeah. Investigators' attention appeared focused on the inside of the car. There was no visible damage to the car windows. They're asking anyone with information to contact State Police Pittsburgh. In Braddock, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.